immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome is a paradoxical and often unpredictable phenomenon that occurs in some individuals undergoing immune system recovery following initiation of antiretroviral therapy or other forms of immune reconstitution. While iris primarily manifests in individuals with human immunodeficiency virus infection, it can also occur in patients with other immunocompromising conditions, such as those receiving chemotherapy for cancer or individuals who have undergone organ transplantation. When the immune system begins to recover and regain its function after initiation of antiretroviral therapy, it may mount an exaggerated inflammatory response to these previously controlled infections. This results in a paradoxical worsening of symptoms or the emergence of new inflammatory manifestations, even though the overall immune status is improving. Certain risk factors have been identified, such as a low baseline CD4 T cell count and a high pathogen burden before the initiation of therapy. Tuberculosis-associated iris is one of the most extensively studied forms of this syndrome. In individuals with latent TB who initiate antiretroviral therapy, there is a heightened risk of developing TB iris. This condition often presents with an exacerbation of respiratory symptoms, radiological evidence of worsening lung lesions, and constitutional symptoms like fever and weight loss. Several other opportunistic infections are associated with immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome and they include Mycobacterium avium complex, Pneumocystis pneumonia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Kaposi sarcoma, Cytomegalovirus, herpes, hepatitis B and hepatitis C. In Cryptococcus, one of the hallmark features of iris is its diverse clinical presentation. It can affect various organ systems, leading to a wide array of symptoms. Common manifestations include fever, swollen lymph nodes, skin rashes, and worsening of existing infections. The severity of iris can range from mild to severe, with some cases even necessitating hospitalization. Management of immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome involves a delicate balance between controlling the inflammatory response and continuing the necessary immune-modulating therapy, such as antiretroviral therapy. In severe cases, anti-inflammatory medications, such as corticosteroids, may be administered to mitigate the exaggerated immune response. First line would be to try non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. If no improvement, consider low-dose steroids. However, the decision to use immunosuppressive agents must be made cautiously as they carry the risk of compromising the overall immune recovery. Antibiotic against opportunistic infections is also a treatment option. Clinicians need to be vigilant in recognizing the diverse clinical presentations of immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome and tailor management strategies to address the underlying immunopathological processes, ultimately ensuring the optimal balance between immune restoration and control of inflammatory manifestations. And that's all for this video. If this video has been helpful, give it a like, share and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. Until next time.